there is a feeling that the WTO is embattled because we haven't been successful in progressing the Doha round. I think it does the WTO no good to be in this situation, but I also think we must remember that the WTO is not just the Doha round, it's a lot more than the Doha round. The WTO is a system of rules and a lot of work is going on on a continuing basis to make sure that the rules are functioning. It doesn't strike me as obvious that the credibility of the WTO in terms of its rules is necessarily going to be undermined by the fact that we didn't finish the door round. But I think if we don't get action sooner rather than later towards progressing an agenda to address challenges as they arise in the, in the international trading system, then, then credibility starts to be a, a, an issue. I also think that there's the question of how we manage regionalism. And regionalism, regional agreements have exploded. We now face a situation in which, on average, every WTO member belongs to no fewer than 13 separate preferential trade agreements. That's an awful lot of agreements. There's an awful lot of overlap. And I don't think it is rocket science to argue that there are costs associated with these sorts of arrangements. Crisscrossing agreements with differing and sometimes competing regimes just add to the costs of doing business and add to the costs of trade. And I think that over time governments will increasingly come to the view that we need to find a way of consolidating and rationalising this. And in that exercise I believe there would be an important role for the WTO.